Hello and welcome to another episode of Disney Movie Investigation. If this is your first time watching, welcome to the show. On each episode, we take a look at a movie that is featured on Disney+. Plus. On this episode, we are taking a look at the documentary Be Water, which chronicles the life of Bruce Lee. And stay tuned for our, our bonus story as we take a look at the history of the ESPN's 30 for 30 film series. And if you are enjoying these videos, I do ask that you please hit that subscribe button. That way you'll be notified with each new video. But for now, sit back and enjoy this episode of Disney Movie Investigation. So like I said, today we're covering the documentary Be Water. Uh, this documentary was released in January of 2020. It was directed by Bayo Najayan. The production company was Dorothy Street Pictures, and it was distributed by ESPN. Uh, so in terms of the summary, uh, this film premiered as part of the Sundance Film Festival, and it is a biography of Bruce Lee, and it contains archival footage with a focus on Lee's time spent in Hong Kong making uh, films there. Uh, most of the, there are featured interviews from several of uh, Bruce Lee's family and friends, and um, it focuses on the racism that Lee experienced while trying to make it big in America. Uh, so again, not a lot of history or trivia with this one. It's basically just a, it is a documentary on Bruce Lee. Uh, so I think the movie is great for showing a lot of archival footage, along with voiceovers from the friends and families of Bruce Lee. Uh, the movie does create a great context for what was going on in the United States at the time, as well as the attitudes of racism in the past. Uh, my only complaint of the movie is that it uh, it is non-linear, so it kind of jumps all over the place. We're a little focus on a part of Hong Kong, then it'll go back to Bruce Lee growing up as a child, then it'll go back to um, his marriage um, and his raising children in America. Um, so it kind of jumps all over the place, which can be hard to follow. Uh, but overall, I definitely recommend this movie as I think it is a great uh, context into the life of Bruce Lee and it leaves the viewer wanting to kind of explore more. Um, so this one is pretty much a short video on that one because that's pretty much it to talk about with this one. It is a straightforward documentary. Um, so let's move on to our bonus story as we take a look at the ESPN's 30 for 30. Uh, this was a series of documentary films that was released by ESPN alongside with its sister networks. Uh, the goal was to highlight interesting people and events throughout sports history. Um, so the idea for this series began from an idea, idea from ESPN.com writer uh, Bill Simmons and ESPN's Connor Shelley. Uh, and the idea was pitched as a series of films to celebrate ESPN's 30th anniversary. The idea started to explore thir the 30 biggest moments from ESPN sports coverage throughout this, throughout through a series of various filmmakers presenting 30 one-hour films. Uh, Volume 1 premiered on October of 2009, and it ran until January 2010. Volume 1 was covering a striking sports issue from each volume of, of each film from Volume 1 was covering a striking sports issue from the last 30 years of ESPN. And because of the popularity of these films, ESPN continued to make films to make up for a total of four volumes of films totaling 124 films. Volume 2 and beyond started to explore other sports along with profiles of notable sports personalities and also included online shorts as well through ESPN.com. The films include a variety of subjects uh, from the Tanya Harding Nancy Kerrigan situation to Terry Fox to Ric Flair to the 1980 Olympic hockey team. Uh, there is a huge variety, huge sports like boxing, hockey, baseball, uh, everything is covered. Uh, most of these are available to watch on ESPN Plus uh, or Disney Plus. Um, my opinion of them is I really like them as they have done a great, they're done with great detail. Uh, the one I like is the from watching a few of them is the Tanya Harding one because it also includes uh, uh, interviews with also Tony Harding and Nancy Kerrigan. So I think this one was really well done. Uh, the other one I like was the um, 1980 U.S. hockey team one because instead of the U.S. hockey team, it actually did the perspective from the Russian team. Uh, so that was an interesting film as well. Uh, so thank you so much for joining us here on this episode of Disney Movie Investigation. Uh, I would invite anyone to please leave a comment of what they think of the documentary Be Water or what they have thought of the ESPN 30 for 30 film series. 
Uh, so as we look forward to our next episode, we are going to take a look at a teen classic as we take a look at the film 10 Things I Hate About You. So until next time, I hope you have a magical day and we will see you real soon.